like a hell cut. Buddy, I hope everyone's enjoying another new day. As you guys can tell, beautiful morning. Oh. And it's 39 degrees, guys, so it's going to be a nicer day than average today. Let's take it on. Look at that. Beautiful out here. And yeah, my camera's not glaring as bad as it was on this phone. It's because I cleaned it last night. It, oh, look what I just found. <laughs> okay, now I got 50 cents in quarters. And this is a beautiful quarter. Now, if only I could find another phone that somebody just decided to discard. A perfectly good phone that some people like to dis some people like to discard perfectly good items. But back to the topic of hand. Beautiful morning, guys. I mean, seriously, look at this. The only clouds in sight are based practically thin wisps of cloud and a few vapor trails along somewhere up there as well but that's typical yeah you know it's obvious these guys were going to be open today it's Monday after all They're typically open on Mondays. As you can probably tell from the background noise, I'm at Belle Isle. I'm up by the river, guys. I'm on Belle Isle. Some idiot ran into a pal into a pole down in Chesterfield pa County and knock down a power line so now we're out of power all because Chesterfield County doesn't want to get doesn't want to strengthen their police force it's ridiculous seriously it's ridiculous seriously Ridiculous. Yeah, the waters are a little rough here. I think it might be high tide. Let's see what time it is. More than likely. I'm pretty sure high tide is what? Maybe 9 and 12 in the day or something like that? And then it starts dropping again. Here's a perfect example of what I mean. About these waters being a little dangerous around here. Make it fun for Whitewater Rapids if it weren't for the rocks. The rocks would make it pretty scary. And I wish I could climb that without getting in trouble. 
but I'm not going to risk it in the new je in my in one of my newest pairs of jeans. Oh. By the way, guys, that's what they call this part of the river, the Hollywood Rapids, because it's right off the uh, shoreline where Hollywood Cemetery is here in Richmond. Yeah, a friend of mine and I, well, when I was part of that paranormal group, because I'm not so sure I'm part of it anymore, over something stupid, there's that, we wanted to go into that mausoleum. Now let's see if the sidewalk's flooded. Nope, not flooded. Based on the evidence here, I think it was for a while. Yeah, just imagine how crowded this island's gonna be when it finally warms up. Look at that, it's open, the mausoleum. We've got reason to believe that mausoleum might be haunted. Because I know when I look on the... When I, everywhere I look online, when it comes to haunted locations in Richmond, Hollywood Cemetery is one of them. The fact that nothing wanted to talk usually means something a, rather unpleasant. Usually means the spirits there aren't friendly. When you want them to talk, they won't talk. And when you don't want them to talk, they'll talk. That's just... I don't know why they do that. But then again, no one does. Waters are a little smoother here. But only for a short period. And by the way, here's proof of it being high tide. water's not usually the water doesn't usually fill that up like that you can normally stand there a little further out than that yeah benefit to this you get an amazing view guys but look down there trash That crap pisses me off. I still see it on the on this thing. Now those over there, those are just uh those just fell off a tree a couple trees up here. But that That's a bit that's just trash. And as usual People don't think about the consequences of what their actions are going to do. That pisses me off. There's even trash down there. And that's not even a path. It's dangerous going down there. Look at how steep this is. And seriously. I'd be going down at an angle like that. That's a dangerous angle. Good way to go sliding down and wind up in the water in cold weather. So the shock of that wouldn't end well. Even though that's still vandalism, that is kind of cool, guys. Look at that. Still in, in incredible view, but we're a bit lower than we were. Not by much, but lower. We're about to be about three drop another three to five feet imagine rolling down that hill that would not be fun at all that would be terrifying what the what is this what is this 
People have been sitting here? Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, these are definitely rooted in the ground. But these are not good for sitting on. There's more over there. Oh, kids. Oh, jeez. All those little, all these things on the ground. It makes it a little, it makes it a little bit treacherous because they roll under your feet. So honestly, I hope they clean the paths, pathways up on this island at some point. Paths up here are very narrow, so it's especially dangerous. There's so much history on this island. I can tell you, part of the problem with all these social issues we've been dealing with, not actually people from inside. Oh, a deer. That's a doe, guys. That's a doe. Oh, that is so cool. Where you're safe. Well, hi. This is such a cool sight seeing deer. That was an awesome sight seeing deer like that so close. And all of them were does. Oh, hold on. It, that's right. This is the highest point of the island over here. We completely forgot about that. Just look at how close we are to the bridge. It's literally right there. And then straight down from here are the main paths down on the lower part of the island, which I'm not going to try and climb down that. That's kind of a dumb move. It's a good way to get hurt. have to see this. There's a stag. That's a stag. Well, guys, that's going to hit us soon enough, but because it's headed straight east, it shouldn't last as long. So, let's just enjoy what time we can. It's moving fast. I think I just felt something hit me. I think I just felt something hit me in the eye. But then again, I could be imagining things. It wouldn't be the first time. And this time, it's largely because I know what to expect. And I'm kind of anticipating it. Now, I heard earlier that someone's vehicle was making a real nasty grindy noise in that motor. Well, it needs work, but so does my family's vehicle. When we got it, that suspension was already in bad shape. The rear bearings on the rear passenger side were bad. The, uh, 
the control arm on the front was, was bad. And now, because my stepmom ran over a pylon, we also have a bad stabilizer arm. But here's one, here's the biggest issue that was on the car when we got it. The subframe was broken off on the driver's side. Fun stuff, right? And then there's the fact that we have a loose part in the motor that causes that keeps causing the ignition to malfunction so yeah car's a piece of jerk that car's a piece of crap now the suspension issues that's actually the most common problem area with the dodge caliber i specifically went on on i'm sorry guys i specifically went online to look for it and that was it Plus, the car, whether my dad realizes it or not, is prone to rust. Something that Dodge did not take into account. They did not take into account just how bad the rust would affect it in areas like, oh, in areas where, uh, where we get, where they get a lot of snow and along the coastlines. Rust is common. On co rust is common in areas with in on the coastlines and in and in uh, northern regions they've been doing better with that but we'll see how long that lasts and one more thing Dodge is dumb enough to try and go electric despite the electric car fad failing they should not have gotten rid of the v8 which, yeah, they're getting rid of it. I'm not happy with them for that. They got rid of the Challenger because of the backlash. When what they should have done is they should have kept the Challenger going. And promised to uh, keep the V8s as options for car enthusiasts. Yeah, fun stuff, right guys? Things keep going wrong for just about everybody in today's world. And it's largely thanks to... And it's largely not thanks to just ourselves. China's playing a big part in it too. Hacking into everybody's systems except that of North Korea... Who, allies, who China still feels to be an ally. And what is our leadership? And what are people doing about it? Nothing. Not even our leadership's doing anything. So. That's why I keep. That's why I keep cyber security on my stuff. Thought I heard something stepping. Thought I heard something walking up behind me. It's just leaves hitting each other as the wind blows. <clears throat> yeah. There's next to no water left in the stream. at least decent gusts there. Never noticed that. The vine on this on this large stump. There are people still here clearly. Yeah. I just saw someone turn off their lights. 